24th is when we have the party at Saxon Club in South Bay. Cool. All right. Once again, live on Sun Radio from Austin Eastside, it's Dawn and Hawks.
The windows there open oh, no, wide. A summer sun is set close. Pulling up the driveway from dead cell snow cones. Mama's in the kitchen. A calling out his name. Lots of men in his office where he rests at the end of each day. Or just Father's House is the name of the song. It's another new one. And Miranda, whose father are we talking about? Mine. He's yeah. usually playing with us, but he's at a gig because he's such a rock star right now. Uh, we just got back from tourcation, which is what I like to call going on tour and family vacation at the same time. But my mom and dad come with us. My dad plays drums and mandolin. And so in the music video of that, you can see him playing. And he, we're, I think it was recorded live at my dad's house. So. Yeah. A peek into my childhood. So that's where you grew up. Yeah, I grew up in South Austin, right here, listening to the radio like yours. Yeah. And your dad has been a, a career musician. Who are some of the people that he's played with over the years? Who hasn't he played with? Uh, he's played with Pony Bone and Miss Lavelle White and the Derailers and Jonas Alvarez. And wow. I, the list goes on and on. Joe King. He, he was telling me Joe King Carrasco stories on this Colorado trip. Yeah. I don't, I've heard of you, though. Yeah. Well, that's really cool. Yeah, he plays mandolin, and uh, you're in the living room of your father's house. That's right. In your mother's house. And uh, so, did he teach you, or did you kind of pick it up separately from him? I think I always thought it was the professional musician's job to play music, and that I was not a musician. I was, like, very aware of how good the musicianship was here in Austin, and... So I just sort of hid away in my bedroom writing songs, and I didn't realize that writing songs was something other people would want to hear because it felt like my own diary. But once I realized that that was something that could help other people, and then that was it, I knew it was my purpose then. And Chris, who, who made you want to play music? 
Well, I grew up in a musical family too, but I had two different sort of uh, directions. My mom's side of the family, they all played like hoot nannies and that kind of stuff. My granddad actually got my grandma playing at a wedding. I think he played banjo, mandolin, and guitar. And then my dad's side of the family, they all played like classical music and were, went to school and got their degree in music and things like that. So it was real, real different, you know, school of thought. But even, even though they had their degrees, they all had different jobs and entrepreneurs and things like that too. So only a handful of them actually uh, played music on a regular basis as a, as a performer. Do those two sides of the family ever jam? That's a good question. No, we haven't really met a whole lot. That would have been fun to see that for yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you were both playing music when you met? Or, or did you leave dancing? We did originally. Yeah. Which was like, just happenstance. We didn't know the other one played music until months and months later. Wow. Well, it's like that new song from uh, Lake Street Diver play, Dance with a Stranger, Till We're Not a Stranger yeah. Anymore. And it's kind of like that. And uh, they, they said their, their stated goal with their, their new album is just to bring joy to people. They yeah. need more joy. And it seems like that's what y'all are about, too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love Johnny Gaddy, who was here earlier. He, he, when, when he was interviewing us one time, he was like, so y'all met dancing? That's so wholesome. <laughs> and she was like, that's like something your grandma would ask to tell you to do. Like, go ask a girl to dance. Yeah. Well, you know, Johnny's amazed by wholesomeness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah he really is. He, he, so far, it is. His, his kind of whole world. By the way, what a killer lineup y'all have this whole weekend. Thank you. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. I started off with this one. It's just... It feels like being the funky cookie in a package of cookies. You know, I'm just glad to be in that package, though, you know? Yeah. Well, if, if you're uh, stuck in traffic somewhere in Central Texas today and go, I wish I could get over there, but there's just no way. Well, tomorrow, we'll be back here from 10 to 7. Great music. Uh, uh, Darren Murphy starting things off. Speaking of great musicians, starting off, off right early at 10 o'clock and going all the way till uh, about 7 with uh, Jesse Dayton. And... Uh, all kinds of great stuff in the middle, so you come tomorrow, and then 10 to 2 on uh, uh, on Sunday as well. All in Austin Eastsiders, 979 Springdale Road. But right now, more music live on Sun Radio from Dawn and Hall. So we'll play all song that just came out today.
this feeling It makes me feel alive Maybe the first time I feel love I need This is Dawn and Hawks. They're playing live right now yeah. on Sun Radio at Austin Inside. It's part of our Sun Radio Con. They'll be playing in Buda later on this evening. And uh, August 24th, album release day. How many albums is this for you? This is our third full length album, our fourth collection. Yeah. 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 This will be the next song that comes out in two more weeks. So we're releasing a, a song or track every two weeks. And uh, this is one of them, our newest tunes. Yeah, this song, we originally debuted it on a stage that was a front porch of a friend of ours, who you're going to hear right after, Paige from the Reverend Few and Nick. They have a porch party they do every South by, and so that was the first place that we sang and played this song, and for several friends, you're so right about the Austin community being full of good, talented friends.
Songs. We Woo! put our names Woo! together and we put our lives together. <laughs> We're a married couple. We got married in Big Sur, California. And Miranda wrote these lyrics. Oh, we started writing these lyrics before we were married. <laughs> it was a conversation. What would it be like together?